Hi right, folks, we back at it again with another tool review by DJ Mobile Auto Services. So we got a uh, this kit here is a fuel saver master kit by IPA, which is the uh, part number is AD16. Right, so what I use this kit for is like if you know you gain the intermittent um fault in a circuit where you keep popping the fuse, this kit comes in handy, right? So let's open it up real quick. This is the master kit, right? Um they have a basic kit that becomes like free um fuel saver. Right, I believe it's the 10 amp, the 15 amp, and the 20 amp. Right, but this is master kit. So this is the buzzer that comes with only with the master kit. Right, you could purchase it outside, but as I say, it comes with master kit. This kit costs like around like 250 bucks on Amazon. Right, um, it comes with a manual. Right, this is the picture of the basic kit. Right, it comes with three um fuse saver and the cable, but not the it don't come with the extra fuse body where the master kit comes with all these stuff, right? So you might as well just buy the master kit. All right, so these are the fuse savers. It comes with the five to five amp, the 10, 15, 20, and 30 amp, and the buzzer, right? This comes in real handy. Like if you have them the faults where when you pop put a fuse in it pops automatically, right? So this would take the jam and instead of you always replacing the fuse right and what I do right you have a breaker on it right so as soon as the inrush current um, exceeds the 5 amp this will pop and trip right and you have to come back and reset it but you gotta leave it there to reset for a little like leave it for a little while because it so it could cool down and then you'll be able to set back the breaker right but with the master kit they come with the buzzer so yeah say for instance um like checking out some lights or something like that in the back, right? I got this hooked up to the fuse fuse box, right? And uh, when it trips, it will make a loud buzzing sound and let me know, well, you know, the, the fuse has um, popped, right? So you just pop this on, right, like this, and you attach this next side to it, and you put this in. It comes with also with this um, long cable, so this could get to the back of a normal car, not no big long car, but comes a long cable right this is the the mini and the maxi fuse right but you can also probably as what you can do is you can use the fuse body and you know incorporate it that way let me just pop this out put this like this right and you can it fits like this right and then you just slip this into the, the fuse where the fuse is supposed to be at right this is for like the older style vehicles come with a few of them i mean i i have the others right that i normally use when i'm doing like um fuel pump um when i'm uh, checking the fuel pump amperage and the coil pack and stuff like that i normally use my fuse body right so this is the older style ones right which i hardly use Right, so as I said, man, it's a good tool, right? You don't have to use it with the buzzer because the basic one doesn't come with the buzzer, but you always you always will have to be coming to check it to make sure that the that it pop, right? That it didn't pop. So with the buzzer now, at least you can hear it will alert you really loud that hey the fuse has popped and you're you know close to the vicinity where the circuit um, has a short. So what I like to use this for is like when I'm doing, like if I'm finding, have a short or open or something like that, what I'll do is I put this, take, take the fuse out, pop this in the, where the fuse belong, right? And I will just put my, the fuse body on, the fuse saver, sorry, with the buzzer, like this, hook this in there, and I will go and do a wiggle test, right? When I do the wiggle test on the harness, Right, and I will listen now for the buzzing noise, right? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you an example of what it, what it does on a vehicle in a bit, right? But I just figure I'll just show it to you real quick what I use to diagnose vehicles, right? So as I said, this is the master kit. It comes with these five fuse savers plus the, the um, fuse, the buzzer alert, right, and the cable. And it comes also with the old school connections, right? Which is totally different from the basic kit. The basic kit is like 80 bucks or something like that when you come with three, right? So it's a good tool to have in Arsenal. They also have something called a pulser, 
right i have that inside somewhere right that's also a good tool to use for like when you find shorts and you can you can set your amperage and things like that right um that's also a real solid tool also but if i want to if i want to go on um, this you know i just got this kit so i just pop it pop a fuse down pop this in and go and do a wiggle test and see you know if it would alert me to the area I'm in. I also use this with incorporation of the Power Probe um, ECT3000, which is the open and short finder, right? So when I'm wiggling the harness, I can also use that afterwards to kind of narrow down where it's coming from. I haven't got the hang of it <laughs> as yet. Um, still learning. Actually, I didn't even get that tool a major uh, shot. I tried it a few times and that's another story, right? But at the, at the end of the day, what I'm saying, this is a good tool for your arsenal. It's like 250 bucks, but as I said, um, it's Black Friday, so it should be cheaper. eBay has it. Um, Amazon has it, right? It, it's a hot item, so it, normally they don't have. You can even buy it used from someone, I guess, or you make your own. Like, but I just decided to have it because I do a lot of electrical diagnosis um, and... Anything to help me narrow down faults faster, I'm with it, right? I also do the old school things, um, like with the light bulb and stuff like that, but this works well also, right? So, let me, as I said, let me hook it up to a vehicle and I'll show you how it works, right? So, if you like what, you like the product, the link is in the description. Make sure and smash it. You know, um, that helps support the channel. I appreciate all your as you know, but as I said, you hook it up on a vehicle so you can see exactly how it works, right? So, give me a minute.